Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. Fred, that, that goes right into the... Uh topic of summer rose care yes the roses to me what i've seen just look magnificent this year they have and uh, what talk a little bit about what happens now you've, you've got those beautiful blooms how do you keep it going well you keep it going in several ways number one a rosarian and i by that meaning people who are educated in uh formal or informal ways grow three four five hundred roses <laughs> themselves plus counsel others will tell you that the best well, the best help for any rose, the best winter care is a good summer's growth. So now, let's talk about a good summer's growth. Uh, we've had, well, by and large, we had, at least early on, sufficient water to keep roses and other plants going. We must now add water. And I mentioned, in terms of watering, do it early in the day and preferably use a, a hose with one of those water wands with what they call a rose on the end. There are various kinds. Spreads out the water like an old sprinkling can, but you put it down near the ground so that you're not splashing water up onto the foliage of the plant and you're not watering down through. This way, you're not spreading diseases. You're not promoting them. I am physically spreading them by touching, by a water droplet movement and so on. And you're not promoting the disease because you're not getting the leaves wet. And let's talk about rose diseases for the most part. They're airborne. There is a spore of a fungal body that is uh, something we breathe all the time right here in the studio and everybody outdoors doesn't bother us. But when it lands on a rose leaf and or all plants in that family, being mountain ash, being flowering crabs and other fire acantha and others, when it lands on the leaf, it lays there dormant, so to speak, until there is moisture, free water or even high humidity and overnight creates these conditions for the most part. Or, well, let's just say overnight because you water too late or rain too late. You have to put on a preventive. You can rarely cure a rose problem in this regard. Now, uh, science is developing some things that are good in this. We won't argue. But uh, no matter of fact, we welcome the advances. But right now you have to prevent. You put a fungicide on the leaf up under, down on, down on the stem tips, uh, the rose buds and everything else, and keep a preventive measure going. And this usually is every seven to 10 days. And they say every seven to 10 days or after every rain. And literally because the stuff can get washed off. That takes care of most diseases. It will then, if you use it in combination, kill most insects that are present on the plant. Then comes the hand pruners. When a flower is dead and the petals fall, they become um, biodegradable immediately. And as they do, if they lay on leaves, they can hold water longer. They can be infected themselves and lay there and cause. So what it boils down to, grab the hand pruners. When roses are spent, done if that is the case, and whatever kind you have, you cut below down to the first five leaflet leaf, be it a cluster of rose heads that are now spent or an individual such as a hybrid tea. Cut, remove that debris so that it can't fester, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that I would recommend as a general rose care. Now, all kinds of detailed things can come up. Some rosarians use the darndest concoctions on their plants. I don't want to get into that because uh, many of them are not on the label. And I prefer to stick with what's on the label of the various pesticides and so on. But those are the points. Water thoroughly, uh, prune following the bloom, which is a normal recommendation, and same on roses. And then keep a preventive material on the leaves is the best way to handle roses during the whole summer. And I mean the whole summer, right on through the hot periods, right on through October, even sometimes if roses are still functioning, even early November. Hey, thanks again for listening to our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well, the Plant of the Week podcast and the Plant Talk Radio podcast, all on iTunes or your favorite podcast player. If you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast, contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com. To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. We've had a lot of questions about how we started the Dollar Saving Divas and why we do this. I know. Well, I'm Kelly. And I'm Leslie. And we are the Dollar Saving Divas. But we do more than just dollar saving, saving tips. tips. But we started talking about this. It was 15 years we ago when to we work used together. to work together. Mm -hmm. And I, 
I just remember we we started it because we both like the same kind of food. Yeah. So we would go in, in search of... Uh, it was lunch every day. Lunch every day. Let's find the best chili. Let's find the best crab cake. Remember, we right. would just go place to place. And we would compare. And it was just our, it was our fun little lunch break every and it day. Was, it was a joke that, that we said, you know, we ought to do this sometime for like a radio right. show or... And we both, at the time, we both had young kids. And so we were trying to find ways to, you know, even cut costs and still provide all those things that you want to provide for your family and, well, and live even, within your budget. And, and you know, we used to, I used to do a lot of events and marketing. So, you know, we, we've done everything from tricks and tips on, you know, party planning and how to decorate a table to different foods. I mean, we've traveled around the community to lots of different yeah, we cities. discovered some things in the community that, you know, we didn't know were there. We thought, well, gosh, other people should know. Exactly. Shopping, great shopping places. We even we even went took a vacation to Naples, Florida, which right. I, I think we should do more of that traveling, well, absolutely. actually. Yeah, yeah, we should do more I of that. I think some international would be good. But I think it's just it's a lot of our life experiences. A lot of life. It's a lot of a life. A lot of life experiences. <laughs> We're not going to say how many combined, but <laughs> sharing I, that with other people. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to say we could, you know, together it would be like... <laughs> no, we're not going to say okay, that. Okay, I'm not even going to go there. I think it's really funny. I mean, we're now actually going and looking for sponsors. I mean, people are actually following us and they're, you know... I know. It's, we, it's amazing. We've got... I mean, it's like... <laughs> people do want to hear what we have to say. <laughs> and actually, I've heard some people even take notes... They have to replay it because, like, like I want to know where that really good happy hour is, and they like right. they, well, everybody wants to know where a really good happy hour well, is. And we're, we're really good because we know where all the good happy hours are. Just ask us any place you live. All can, those years of work, yeah. <laughs> you need to know a good lunch spot and a good happy hour spot, and, and never the two shall meet because <laughs> you shouldn't be drinking at lunch. <laughs> But it's just been really fun, and I, I think we're really expanding the things we're doing, which is, which is, you know, I never thought that people would actually listen yeah. to us. Well, I think that's the fun part is we are doing what's fun to us. Exactly. So it's not like it's work. Right. We're just having a good time. And, and talking about it. <laughs> talking about And maybe we shouldn't be talking about some of the good times that we <laughs> well, have. Well, right. Probably a little censorship would be good. But <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, we, you know, we go bleep. <laughs> in between things. Sorry, these podcasts are really 20 minutes, but we edit them down to eight. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> yeah. there's so many things there's that should go in there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> bleep, bleep. You know, it's like that. What is it? That, what do they do on the um, on TV? You know, it's like the, the, right. the lag time or the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have to have a th- 10 second delay. <laughs> That's it. A 10 second delay. But we've really had fun. And so. I hope people continue to listen to us. Yeah. And if you know what, and if people have things that they thought would be, make a good podcast, they really ought to, you know, contact us. Let us know because we're always open to new adventures. Yeah, particularly if they, <laughs> do they include travel, food, and, <laughs> and <drink>. alcohol. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're down. We're good to go. Circle two seventy media dot com.